Janet. Oh, what a you. lovely, lovely story. That is like a scene from a movie, Sir Patrick, if you wrote that. It, it, <laughs> yes, it, it may, may not be a, a romantic comedy. It might, might be more of a, <clears throat> you know, a Walking Dead movie, actually. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> when you gave her your phone number, what? How did you estimate your chances of success? <laughs> did you have a kind of No. No, it's a reasonable question, <laughs> isn't it? Don't you? Yeah, absolutely. Jana, um, uh, I, I, it's the only time in my life I've ever done that. Yeah. And. Um, it was all a, a kind of business arrangement. She had said to me that she'd wanted to see our production of Macbeth yeah. in Brooklyn, but it was sold out. Yeah. But we were transferring to Broadway, and so I said, well, there'll be seats there. Here's my number. Give me a call if you want to. Uh, was there an ulterior motive? Of course. I will leave it for you. <laughs> <on the side. laughs> and Sonny, did you, did you think there's an ulterior motive, or did you genuinely think, oh, great, I'll get some tickets to I go and see that? I honestly didn't know. Yeah. No. Absolutely. And did, did you not really know. want to see Macbeth? Were you just trying I, to No, I really up? did. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> did you? Oh, really? oh, yes. It was a beautiful production. It was terrifying. Oh. And I went and saw Macbeth and then had to go say hi to him afterwards after seeing him be the most horrible man. And you refused to come back initially. Initially, <laughs> yes. And then I, I did. Come back but, where? Back <laughs> there. Oh, back there. <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm glad we cleared that up. <laughs> but, but, no, the, the thing is, in that production, the very last thing the audience saw was Malcolm, the character Malcolm, holding up my severed head yeah. in the spotlight, oh, yeah. and then the lights went to black. Well, Sonny, I mean, how did you feel about that? It was, it was a quite good replica. <laughs> Was it better than the real thing? I keep asking where it is because I want it for my mantle. <laughs> I'm missing his his silicone head. Oh. So did you know? Is. Did you know what she did? Did you know she was a singer at this point? No, and I didn't know she was a singer for a couple of weeks ah. until one one weekend because I was doing a, a an eight show a week performance. So I only had Sunday nights and Monday free. So we would usually get together Sunday evening. And on the Sunday evening, she said, I'm doing a gig tomorrow night. I had to have a gig explained to me. What <laughs> I thought it was a thing you sat in behind a horse, you know. <laughs> and, um, and, and, and I said, oh, well, yeah, really? That would be nice. Uh, when? When shall I come? Well, it's in the, in, uh, the Lower East Side of Manhattan, and uh, I'm on at 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock? <laughs> Very late. <laughs> that wouldn't be in the morning. It would be in the evening. And actually, you went on after midnight. Probably. And oh. it, it, it was just simply a revelation to me hearing her sing. It's up in the middle of the night and, you know, literally... Oh, that's not to write, darling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he had his notepad by the side of his bed or we'll be in a restaurant and he'll kind of... I've got a pen and paper. It's, the lyrics just are, are spilling out, so he's back to his old days of, of writing all his own material and I'm very proud. Yeah. <laughs>